A quick disclaimer, the product in this review has been given to us by Gamegenic. A big thank you to them, it really helps us to do more varied and interesting products. However, they do not get to see the video before we put it out, and they do not have any input into the review at all. It will still be incredibly open and honest, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Here we go again with another double sleeve review, and today we'll find out if size really matters with this Gamegenic Dungeon 1100 Plus. Let's see how it gets on. When reviewing storage systems like this, we like to break it down into five categories. Quality, security, storage, accessories, and price. First off, it's the quality test, where we get to see the build quality of the item, as well as the materials used and overall functionality of the components. We see the Gamegenic Dungeon 1100 Plus is a continuation of the usual Gamegenic recipe of stiff cardboard covered in their Nexo fiber and then lined in microfiber. The stitching is for aesthetic purposes only on the base of the box, as this is not holding the lining to the middle. But the lid does actually have some proper stitching going through all three layers, and therefore offering a little bit of extra quality, which is nice to see. We like the look of the box, we think it looks very smart and comes in a number of different colours. It is a nice material as we've mentioned before and the lining is obviously very soft, great for whatever you're putting inside. There are no carry handles or straps or any other fixing so it is literally the base and the top. As you can see, the exterior cardboard is a little bit stiffer than the one piece in the middle of the box which is to separate the top and bottom compartments. When it comes to security, we aren't only looking at the cardboard frame, we're also looking at the fixing mechanism, which in this case are strong magnets. In addition to the strong magnets, there are grooves in the side of the box to help A, align the magnets correctly, and also to offer another layer of security. As you can see, when I fill the box half full with deck boxes and cards, it is not budging anywhere when I shake it upside down. As with any magnet system, this is not flawless. I think they've done a very good job. However, do I think they could have done a better job with fixing the lid to the base? Yes. Why? Because with a box this size, it's unlikely going to be going base first into a bag, and therefore it's going to be going end in. And that is going to put a little bit more pressure on the lid, especially if you're filling it full of decks. I would be nervous in taking this full of decks and expecting the lid to remain on the whole way. Do I think if it's intended to be used as a storage system at home, absolutely spot on, and if anything, the magnets would be a plus point as you're not having to undo anything fiddly, Velcro, or anything like that. It's very easy to open. So in that case, big positive. Now we move on to storage, and this is the category where I have probably the biggest bone to pick with Gamegenic, as it's named a 1100 plus because it can fit 1100 double sleeved carts. As you see here, I try and put an inner sleeved card into the deck box in the direction I think would be most sensible, and unfortunately, it doesn't fit. It only fits unsleeved cards, which aren't going to be your best solution. When it comes to double sleeved, they obviously won't fit either, therefore they're going to have to stay standing up, which gives you a lot of room. I don't want my cards moving around that much when they're in any kind of container. I did manage to fit 1,262 unsleeved cards in one side, so 2,524 cards uh, in total would be uh, what you'd fit in this if you didn't want to sleeve them. Again, I'm not quite sure why you'd do that, so you'd be standing your cards up, which gives a lot of wiggle room, um, and not the most efficient use of the space. If you've got a huge collection of cards and you really want to put them inside, then fine. But that's more than a standard cube would be, and if you've got that many cards you're not displaying in a binder, then you're not using them in decks, uh, fair enough, maybe this is what you want. However, I think the main use for this will be storing deck boxes. When it comes to deck boxes, you can fit roughly five standard 100 plus card deck boxes in one side, therefore you might be able to fit 10 total in this box as both compartments are equally sized. This is pretty good and I would say if you're looking at moving 10 or storing 10 in a neat way, then you've got a good job here. However, you have to be aware that not all deck boxes are made equal and not all of them will fit perfectly. 
For instance, satin towers are too tall for this box and therefore they'd have to lie down, which means you wouldn't fit quite so many in. So, Gamegenic have made us a big box. If you want a big box, this is probably one of the biggest boxes out there, so great, get one of these big boxes. Does it have an accessories compartment? Not so much. Is it technically all an accessories compartment? Yes, if you've got a lot of accessories. You can fit a play mat or two in one side and deck boxes in the other, just like you would do in any other big box. So, if, you, if you've got a lot of accessories, if you want a specific accessories compartment, you need to look elsewhere, but it'll do if you've got to transport a lot of stuff in general. As far as price goes, Gamegenic have this listed at an MSRP of $64.99. That's quite a lot of money for a big box, but like I said, it is a pretty big box, so you'll have to see whether or not that makes sense to you. As always, check your local retailers and wherever you are, see what price you can get for it. Maybe you can get it a bit cheaper than that. I would hope so. I think it's a little bit expensive for me. And there you go, that's the Dungeon 1100 Plus uh, by Gamegenic. What do you think? Is it a good one? Do you want a big box like this? Uh, maybe you want something a little bit smaller. Well, tune in soon when we review the Card Lair 400 Plus. Um, another interesting looking product. We'll have to see if that does better or maybe worse. A big thank you to Gamegenic for providing these products. It really helps us to do more interesting products rather than just whatever we can get our hands on. And thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like the video and give us a sub if you really fancy it. We would appreciate it and get to see when the next review comes out. We're churning out review once a week pretty much at the moment. So hope you're enjoying that. And um, yeah, let us know in the comments below if there's other products you want us to do. In the meantime, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.